Golden State Warriors signed DeAnthony Melton to a one-year $12.8 million deal. So DeAnthony Melton missed a lot of ball games last season for the Philadelphia 76ers. And we know the Sixers are capped out. They signed Paul George to a monster max deal. They signed Maxi to a max deal. Signed Derek Gordon and Drummond. So they had no room to bring Melton back. And after a year of injury for the most part last season, he comes back on a one-year for a $12.8 million deal, a good deal. And we know this Warrior team now. They have a bunch of cap room. They waived Chris Paul. They signed and traded away Clay Thompson. And now they need to fill some spots on this roster. So last season for Belton, 11.1 points a game, 3.7 rebounds, 3 assists, 1.6 steals, 2 threes, and 38% from the field. So Melton, he's a 3 and D type of player. He can hit that corner 3. And now this team, they're going to need some more scoring. I know Clay Thompson... He wasn't all that great last season, but he still averaged 18 points a game. And Melton can help a little bit fill that void in terms of that 18 a game, where I think he could average 12, 13 a game, two, two and a half threes per game, possibly in a high pace Steve Kerr offense. And he's still going to get the steals. So in terms of fantasy basketball, he's a late round flyer guy, is DeAnthony Melton. Most likely 10th, 12th round range, back end player for your bench in 12 team leagues or deeper, where, like I said, he's going to hit three pointers. He's going to steal the basketball, and he's a decent assist man. But besides that, he don't do really any one thing great as Melton, but he's more of a real-life type of move to benefit a team than a fantasy basketball move. So the Anthony Melton signs with the Golden State Warriors, and we'll see if he could stay healthy and help this Warrior team get into the playoff center in the 2024-25 season.